Hello, I'm Ian Brown from Thomson Cooper. Welcome to Reset Your Debt, our continuing series of video blogs to help inform individuals and businesses how to deal with problem debt. Today, I'd like to discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of bankruptcy or sequestration, as it's called in Scotland. Applying for bankruptcy, which is the more formal method of dealing with your debts, can have a real impact on your future financial situation. It's important to seek advice from an insolvency practitioner and consider other options which may be more appropriate, depending on your circumstances, before taking the decision to apply for bankruptcy. That said, bankruptcy can also be a positive way forward in the right set of circumstances. So firstly, we'll look at the advantages. Number one, once the bankruptcy is awarded, creditors can no longer contact you. Number two, we take control and deal with your debts and your creditors. Number three, if you're able to do so, you will have to make a monthly contribution via a debtor contribution order, which will last 48 months or the weekly equivalent, unless you have sufficient assets to be able to pay off your bankruptcy in full. However, this can help you to budget more effectively as you will know exactly what you have to pay each month towards your bankruptcy. Number four, Unsecured debt, including credit cards, loans and overdrafts are included in the bankruptcy, as well as arrears on household debt, such as utility bills and council tax. Any debt secured on an asset is not included, nor are student loans, fines or overpayment of benefits. Number five, if you're on a low income and have few assets, you might not have to repay any of your debts. Number six, you can become debt free relatively quickly, being discharged after only 12 months. However, you must continue to cooperate with the trustee until they are discharged. Now let's look at the disadvantages. Number one, your assets such as your home or car may be at risk. And if an agreement cannot be reached with your trustee, they may be required to be sold for the benefit of your creditors. However, your trustee will take many things in, into consideration when deciding what to do with property, including the value, whether you have any loans secured in it, and if there are any children or other dependents living in the property. Number two, you may find it difficult to get credit in the future, as the bankruptcy will be recorded on your credit file for six years and your credit rating will be affected. Number three, a bank may freeze or close an account of someone who is bankrupt. Some banks will allow a debtor to have an account, however, the bank will be informed that they have been made bankrupt. Number four, service providers such as gas or electricity suppliers may have concerns with the way they provide services to a debtor and may wish to change the way they receive payments. The changes could include the installation of a meter or the setup of a prepayment plan. Number five, every bankruptcy is recorded on a public register called the Register of Insolvencies. Anyone can search the register and there's no charge for doing this. Details of a bankruptcy will remain on the register for two years after the trustee has been discharged. Number six, you won't be able to act as a company director or be involved in its management unless the court allow. And certain professions may be affected by bankruptcy, for example, solicitors, accountants and government officials. One final point and a question we are often asked is, does applying for bankruptcy affect your spouse? Well, no one wants to think of their spouse being negatively affected by debts that they have not incurred. Your partner is not responsible for your personal debts, even if you are married. However, that does not mean that your partner will be completely unaffected by your bankruptcy. In the case of any joint debts, your partner will remain jointly liable for the full amount. As the bankruptcy will be registered at your home address, this could affect your spouse's credit rating as well. However, if this becomes an issue, your spouse may be able to disassociate themselves from your debts, unless they're joint debts. This can be done by liaising with credit reference agencies. If you'd like more information on bankruptcy or any of the personal debt solutions, please contact me or one of my colleagues at Thomson Cooper. Details are at the end of this video.